Are you someone who often feels like you see the world differently? Like you possess a unique blend of empathy, independence, and intuition that sets you apart from the crowd? If so, you might just be a Sigma Empath. But while being a Sigma Empath comes with its strengths, it also brings forth a set of challenges that many of us struggle with. Today we're diving deep into the world of Sigma Empaths to uncover seven weaknesses that they commonly face. So whether you're a Sigma Empath yourself, or simply curious about this fascinating personality type, stick around to learn more. Hey there, fellow seekers of truth and understanding. Welcome back to our channel, where we explore the depths of human nature and self-discovery. Today, we're delving into the enigmatic realm of Sigma Empaths, a rare breed characterized by their unparalleled empathy, unwavering independence, and keen intuition. But what exactly is a Sigma Empath? Well, picture someone who dances to the beat of their own drum. Someone who navigates the complexities of human emotion with an almost instinctual grace. And someone who possesses an uncanny ability to understand others on a profound level. That's the essence of a Sigma Empath. These individuals don't just feel emotions, they embody them. They're the quiet observers in a world of noise, the silent guides in a sea of chaos. But despite their remarkable gifts, Sigma Empaths often find themselves grappling with a unique set of weaknesses that can be both challenging and overwhelming to navigate. So, whether you're a Sigma Empath seeking validation and understanding or someone intrigued by the intricacies of human psychology, you're in for a treat. Join me as we unravel the seven weaknesses that all Sigma Empaths struggle with and uncover valuable insights that can help us better understand ourselves and each other. Ready to embark on this journey of self-discovery? Let's dive in. Number 1. Difficulty in forming deep connections. Picture this Sarah, a Sigma Empath, sitting in a bustling cafe, observing the ebb and flow of conversation around her. While others seem effortlessly engrossed in their interactions, Sarah finds herself feeling like an outsider looking in. It's not that she doesn't crave connection far from it, but her independent nature often leaves her hesitant to fully immerse herself in the vulnerability that deep connections require. For Sigma empaths like Sarah, forming deep emotional connections can feel like traversing uncharted territory. They value their independence and self-reliance above all else, making it challenging to let down their guard and invite others into their inner world. This isn't to say that Sigma empaths are incapable of forming connections, they're just more selective about who they let into their inner circle. Take Mark, for example. A Sigma empath with a penchant for introspection and solitude, Mark struggles to find individuals who can match his depth of understanding and appreciation for meaningful conversation. While he longs for connection, he often finds himself retreating into solitude rather than engaging in superficial interactions that leave him feeling unfulfilled. But it's not just a matter of preference. Sigma empaths also tend to gravitate towards authenticity and genuineness in their relationships. They crave depth and substance, which can be difficult to find in a world consumed by surface-level interactions and fleeting connections. As a result, they may find themselves feeling isolated or misunderstood, yearning for a connection that transcends the superficial. In essence, the struggle to form deep connections stems not from a lack of desire, but from the intricate dance between independence and vulnerability that defines the Sigma Empath experience. So, if you're a Sigma Empath nodding along to this tale of relational complexity, know that you're not alone. And if you're someone intrigued by the inner workings of the Sigma Empath psyche, Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the intricacies of this fascinating personality type. Number 2. Overwhelmed by Emotional Intensity Now, let's shine a spotlight on another aspect of the Sigma Empath experience, the overwhelming tide of emotions that threatens to engulf them at every turn. Meet Alex, a Sigma Empath who wears their heart on their sleeve, navigating a world awash with a kaleidoscope of emotions. From the jubilant highs of love and excitement to the crushing lows of despair and anguish, Alex feels it all with an intensity that can be both exhilarating and exhausting. But it's not just their own emotions that Alex grapples with, it's the emotions of those around them too. As a Sigma empath, Alex possesses an innate ability to pick up on the subtle nuances of others' feelings, absorbing them like a sponge until they're left feeling weighed down by the collective emotional baggage of those around them. 
So, how does Alex cope with this overwhelming onslaught of emotions? Well, they've learned a few strategies along the way. For starters, setting boundaries is crucial. Whether it's taking a step back from emotionally draining situations or carving out time for solitude and self-care, Alex knows the importance of prioritizing their own mental and emotional well-being. Mindfulness practices also play a key role in helping Alex manage emotional overwhelm. By grounding themselves in the present moment and acknowledging their emotions without judgment, they're able to create a sense of calm amidst the storm. Whether it's through meditation, deep breathing exercises, or simply taking a moment to pause and reflect, Alex finds solace in the stillness that mindfulness brings. And let's not forget the power of self-expression. Whether it's through journaling, creative outlets like art or music, or simply having a heart-to-heart -heart with a trusted friend, Alex knows that giving voice to their emotions can be incredibly cathartic. By externalizing their inner turmoil, they're able to gain perspective and clarity, freeing themselves from the suffocating grip of emotional overwhelm. In essence, while the intensity of their emotions may sometimes feel like a burden, Sigma empaths like Alex possess a resilience and strength that allows them to weather even the most turbulent emotional storms. So, if you're a Sigma empath struggling to stay afloat amidst a sea of emotions, know that you're not alone. And if you're someone seeking to understand the complexities of the Sigma empath experience, stay tuned as we continue our exploration into the depths of the human psyche. Number 3. Boundary Issues now, let's turn our attention to a challenge that many Sigma empaths grapple with boundary issues. Imagine Emily, a Sigma empath with a heart as vast as the ocean and a tendency to give endlessly to those around her. While her capacity for empathy knows no bounds, Emily often finds herself teetering on the edge of burnout, unable to distinguish where her own needs end and others begin. For Sigma empaths like Emily, setting and maintaining boundaries can feel like a daunting task. Their natural inclination towards compassion and empathy often leads them to prioritize the needs of others above their own, leaving little room for self-care and personal boundaries. But here's the thing, boundaries aren't just about saying no to others, they're about saying yes to yourself. By establishing clear boundaries, Sigma empaths like Emily can create space for self-reflection, self-care and personal growth, ultimately fostering healthier and more balanced relationships. So how can Emily and other Sigma empaths like her begin to cultivate healthy boundaries? Well, it starts with self-awareness. By tuning into their own needs and desires, Sigma empaths can gain a deeper understanding of where their boundaries lie and what they need to feel safe and supported. Communication is also key. Whether it's expressing their needs and boundaries to others or advocating for themselves in difficult situations, Sigma empaths can benefit from assertive communication techniques that allow them to assert their boundaries with confidence and clarity. And let's not forget the power of self-compassion. Setting boundaries isn't always easy, and Sigma empaths may find themselves grappling with feelings of guilt or anxiety as they navigate this unfamiliar territory. But by practicing self-compassion and treating themselves with kindness and understanding, they can learn to prioritize their own well-being without sacrificing their innate sense of empathy and compassion for others. In essence, while boundary issues may pose a challenge for Sigma empaths like Emily, they also present an opportunity for growth and self-discovery. By embracing the power of boundaries and learning to advocate for themselves, Sigma empaths can create the space they need to thrive and flourish in a world that often demands more than they're willing to give. So, if you're a Sigma empath struggling to establish boundaries in your own life, know that you're not alone. And if you're someone seeking to understand the complexities of the Sigma empath experience, stay tuned as we continue our journey into the depths of the human psyche. Number 4. Loneliness Despite Empathy Now. Let's shine a light on a paradox that many Sigma empaths find themselves tangled in the experience of loneliness despite their profound capacity for empathy. Meet James, a Sigma empath whose heart brims with compassion and understanding for those around him. He's the go-to person when friends need a listening ear or a shoulder to lean on, yet beneath his outward warmth lies a lingering sense of loneliness that seems to echo in the depths of his soul. For Sigma empaths like James, loneliness isn't just a matter of physical isolation, it's a deep-seated longing for connection that transcends surface-level interactions. 
Despite their ability to empathize deeply with others, they often find themselves feeling like outsiders looking in, yearning for a connection that goes beyond the superficial. But here's the thing, combating loneliness isn't about surrounding yourself with people, it's about fostering meaningful connections that nourish the soul. For James and other Sigma empaths like him, this means seeking out individuals who appreciate and value their unique perspective, individuals who are willing to meet them on a level playing field of authenticity and vulnerability. So, how can James begin to bridge the gap between loneliness and connection? Well, it starts with embracing vulnerability. By allowing himself to be seen and heard, flaws and all, James can create space for genuine connection to flourish, free from the constraints of fear and self-doubt. Building a strong support network is also crucial. Whether it's cultivating friendships with like-minded individuals who share his values and interests, or seeking out community groups and organizations where he can connect with others on a deeper level, James can begin to weave a tapestry of connection that brings warmth and meaning to his life. And let's not forget the importance of self-care. Nurturing his own well-being through activities that bring him joy and fulfillment, whether it's pursuing his passions, spending time in nature, or simply indulging in a moment of quiet reflection can help James cultivate a sense of inner peace and contentment that radiates outward, drawing others into his orbit of connection and camaraderie. In essence, while loneliness may be a familiar companion for Sigma empaths like James, it doesn't have to be a permanent resident. By embracing vulnerability, building meaningful connections, and prioritizing self-care, James can begin to forge a path towards deeper connection and fulfillment, one heartfelt interaction at a time. So, if you're a Sigma empath struggling to navigate the complex terrain of loneliness, know that you're not alone. And if you're someone seeking to understand the intricacies of the Sigma empath experience, stay tuned as we continue our exploration into the depths of the human psyche. Number five, difficulty expressing vulnerability. Now, let's delve into another facet of the Sigma Empath experience, the struggle to express vulnerability. Meet Mia, a Sigma Empath whose strength and resilience seem to know no bounds. She's the one her friends turn to in times of need, the pillar of support in a world fraught with uncertainty and doubt. Yet beneath her unwavering exterior lies a vulnerability that she hesitates to reveal a vulnerability that she fears may be perceived as weakness. For Sigma empaths like Mia, expressing vulnerability can feel like stepping into uncharted territory. Their independent nature and self-reliant tendencies make it difficult to let down their guard and ask for help when they need it most. Instead, they soldier on, navigating life's challenges with a stoic determination that belies the storm of emotions brewing beneath the surface. But here's the thing, vulnerability isn't a sign of weakness, it's a testament to courage and authenticity. By allowing themselves to be seen and heard, flaws and all, Sigma empaths like Mia can forge deeper connections with others and cultivate a sense of intimacy and trust that transcends surface-level interactions. So how can Mia and other Sigma empaths like her begin to embrace vulnerability and ask for help when they need it? Well, it starts with reframing their perception of vulnerability. Rather than viewing it as a weakness to be avoided, they can see it as an opportunity for growth and connection, a chance to authentically share their experiences and emotions with others. Practicing self-compassion is also key. By treating themselves with kindness and understanding, Sigma empaths can learn to embrace their vulnerability with open arms, knowing that they are worthy of love and support just as they are. Whether it's through journaling, meditation, or simply offering themselves words of encouragement, they can cultivate a sense of inner strength and resilience that empowers them to navigate life's challenges with grace and ease. And let's not forget the power of seeking support from others. Whether it's reaching out to a trusted friend, family member, or therapist, Sigma empaths can benefit from having a safe space to express their emotions and share their struggles without fear of judgment or rejection. By allowing themselves to lean on others in times of need, they can lighten the burden of emotional weight and forge deeper connections that sustain them through life's ups and downs. In essence, while expressing vulnerability may feel daunting for Sigma empaths like Mia, it's also a gateway to deeper connection intimacy and authenticity. 
by embracing vulnerability and reaching out for support when they need it, they can cultivate a sense of inner strength and resilience that empowers them to thrive in a world that often demands more than they're willing to give. So, if you're a Sigma empath struggling to express vulnerability in your own life, know that you're not alone. And if you're someone seeking to understand the complexities of the Sigma Empath experience, stay tuned as we continue our journey into the depths of the human psyche. Number 6. Sensitivity to Negative Energy Now, let's shine a light on a challenge that many Sigma Empaths encounter on their journey sensitivity to negative energy. Meet Jake, a Sigma empath whose finely tuned intuition allows him to pick up on the subtlest shifts in the energetic landscape around him. From the heavy weight of sadness lingering in a crowded room to the prickling sensation of tension in the air, Jake feels it all with an intensity that can be both a blessing and a curse. For Sigma empaths like Jake, sensitivity to negative energy isn't just a minor inconvenience, it's a constant barrage that threatens to overwhelm their mental and emotional well-being. Whether it's absorbing the stress and anxiety of those around them or internalizing the negativity of their environment, they find themselves caught in a relentless cycle of emotional turmoil that can leave them feeling drained and depleted. But here's the thing, sensitivity to negative energy doesn't have to be a burden, it can be a gift. By learning to recognize and navigate the energetic currents that flow through their lives, Sigma empaths like Jake can harness the power of their intuition to protect and preserve their mental and emotional well-being. So how can Jake and other Sigma empaths like him begin to cope with the overwhelming tide of negative energy that threatens to engulf them? Well, it starts with self-awareness. By tuning into their own energy and recognizing when they're being affected by external influences, Sigma empaths can begin to take proactive steps to protect themselves from negative energy vampires and toxic environments. Setting energetic boundaries is also crucial. Whether it's visualizing a protective bubble of light around themselves or practicing grounding techniques to anchor themselves in the present moment, Sigma empaths can create a barrier that shields them from the harmful effects of negative energy while allowing positive energy to flow freely. And let's not forget the power of self-care, nurturing their own well-being through activities that bring them joy and replenish their energy, whether it's spending time in nature, practicing mindfulness, or engaging in creative pursuits, can help Sigma empaths like Jake recharge their batteries and restore balance to their energetic field. In essence, while sensitivity to negative energy may pose a challenge for Sigma empaths like Jake, it also presents an opportunity for growth and self-discovery. By learning to recognize and navigate the energetic currents that flow through their lives, they can harness the power of their intuition to protect and preserve their mental and emotional well-being. So, if you're a Sigma empath struggling to cope with the overwhelming tide of negative energy in your life, know that you're not alone. And if you're someone seeking to understand the complexities of the Sigma empath experience, stay tuned as we continue our exploration into the depths of the human psyche. Number 7. Skepticism and Distrust Now, let's turn our attention to a struggle that many Sigma empaths grapple with skepticism and distrust. Meet Sophia, a Sigma empath whose keen intuition and analytical mind allow her to see through the masks that others wear. While she values authenticity and genuineness in her relationships, Sophia finds herself struggling to trust others a skepticism born from a lifetime of navigating the complexities of human nature. For Sigma empaths like Sophia, skepticism and distrust aren't just a matter of being cautious, they're a protective mechanism, a shield forged in the fires of experience and observation. They've seen the darker side of human nature, witnessed the betrayal and deceit that lurk beneath the surface of seemingly innocuous interactions, and they're hesitant to let their guard down for fear of being hurt. But here's the thing, skepticism and distrust don't have to be barriers to connection, they can be bridges to deeper understanding and empathy. By acknowledging their skepticism and exploring the root causes behind it, Sigma empaths like Sophia can begin to cultivate a sense of discernment that allows them to navigate the complexities of human relationships with grace and integrity. So how can Sophia and other Sigma empaths like her begin to build trust and foster positive relationships? Well, it starts with self-reflection. 
By examining their own beliefs and assumptions about trust, Sigma empaths can gain insight into the underlying fears and insecurities that may be driving their skepticism, allowing them to challenge these beliefs and cultivate a more open and trusting mindset. Communication is also key. Whether it's expressing their concerns and boundaries to others or actively listening to the perspectives of those around them, Sigma empaths can benefit from honest and transparent communication that fosters understanding and connection. By being authentic and vulnerable in their interactions, they can create a safe space for trust to flourish and relationships to deepen. And let's not forget the power of forgiveness. Holding on to past hurts and grievances only serves to perpetuate the cycle of skepticism and distrust, preventing Sigma empaths from fully embracing the present moment and forging meaningful connections with others. By practicing forgiveness both for themselves and for others, Sigma empaths can release the burdens of the past and step into a future filled with hope, compassion, and genuine connection. In essence, while skepticism and distrust may be familiar companions for Sigma empaths like Sophia, they don't have to define their relationships or dictate their interactions with others. By acknowledging their skepticism and exploring its underlying causes, Sigma empaths can begin to cultivate a sense of discernment that allows them to navigate the complexities of human relationships with grace and integrity. So, if you're a Sigma empath struggling to trust others in your own life, know that you're not alone. And if you're someone seeking to understand the intricacies of the Sigma empath experience, stay tuned as we continue our journey into the depths of the human psyche. In conclusion, we've explored the seven weaknesses that Sigma empaths often grapple with difficulty in forming deep connections, feeling overwhelmed by emotional intensity, struggling with boundary issues, experiencing loneliness despite their empathy, and finding it challenging to express vulnerability, being sensitive to negative energy, and wrestling with skepticism and distrust. These challenges can undoubtedly be daunting, but they're also an integral part of the Sigma Empath experience, a testament to the depth and complexity of their nature. To all the Sigma Empaths out there, I want to remind you that your strengths far outweigh your weaknesses. Your empathy, independence, and intuition are gifts that allow you to navigate the world with compassion and insight. But it's also important to acknowledge and work on your weaknesses to embrace vulnerability, set healthy boundaries, and cultivate trust in yourself and others. Remember, you're not alone on this journey. Whether you're a Sigma empath seeking validation and understanding or someone intrigued by the intricacies of human psychology, know that there's a community of like-minded individuals ready to support and uplift you. Thank you for joining me on this exploration into the world of Sigma empaths. If you found this content valuable, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more insights into the human psyche. Together, we can continue to unravel the mysteries of the mind and embrace the beauty of our unique and diverse experiences. Until next time, take care and stay curious. This is Motivation Today. Thanks for watching and stay blessed.